What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to talk about intense dreams after quitting smoking. Yes, this is very real. And when you first quit, I'm on day 34 and I can't say within the first month or even the second month because it looks like this is going to be an ongoing thing where every single night I have really intense and vivid dreams and it's not fun. Personally, I am happy that I am dreaming, which means that I am now getting REM sleep when before I wasn't. But with it comes these really intense dreams where you're being chased, the police are looking for you, you smoke, and then you wake up in the morning and you realize that you really hadn't smoked and you're kind of bummed out because you thought you'd be able to wake up and have something to do first thing in the morning, smoking, but that's not the case. So for me personally, if I had the choice of choosing if I wanted to continue dreaming or not, I would choose not to dream because I prefer so much more not having those intense emotions that come from having these really vivid dreams. And sometimes they're nightmares. You did something and people are looking for you. It's just not fun, but you're getting REM sleep and that's the most important part. So let me explain what REM sleep is. Every day that you're using your brain, it starts to build up toxins. And when you go to bed at night, those toxins get released from the brain into the spinal cord at the very top, and then it releases into your body's natural waste management system so that these toxins can get relieved and come out of your system appropriately. What happens is when you don't get adequate sleep over a very long time, these toxins build up in your brain and they lead to a lot of mental health problems in your older ages. It's been linked to Alzheimer's, schizophrenia, uh, dementia, and many other mental illnesses that I can't name off the top of my head. That's why REM sleep is absolutely so important. But when you're smoking, you don't get REM sleep. You literally don't enter that deeper level of sleep where dreams start to come. So through the eight years that I was smoking, I really felt like I just never slept at night. I would go to bed, lay down, wake up in the morning and just feel exhausted. I would look around like, man, I had huge black dark eyes under my, black dark bags under my eyes. And if you go and look at my older videos, the ones that are still up from when I was smoking, for example, the breathing exercise video, that video I made right before I finished quitting smoking. And that video, you can see how dark it is under my eyes. And that's because you never get the appropriate amount of rest that you're supposed to get. More so than that, when you smoke, you increase the amount of blood that goes to your head by four times. And this causes your heart to have to work a lot harder. That's why people can start to have heart conditions from smoking overly, using too much usage. More so than that, you start to get these big black dark bags under your eyes because the little tiny capillaries, which not veins, but capillaries, they swell with blood. And then that starts to really give a darker appearance aside from the fact that you're not getting adequate sleep every single night. So I guess it's a give and take. It's a double-edged sword because on one side you have to go and, and have these really bad dreams and you have to just deal with them and there's not anything that you can do about it. But on the plus side, you're now getting REM sleep and those toxins in your brain which weren't being removed appropriately that could have been building up and causing mental health problems in future age, they are now starting to relieve. They're starting to be reduced and they're starting to drain so that you can have a healthy brain working appropriately. The way that I can give you an example of this, you ever stay up an entire night and then you wake up or not wake up, but you stay up an entire night and then the morning comes and then you're sitting there and it's mid afternoon and you feel so groggy and so drained. That's basically what you're doing when you become a very heavy smoker and you never get that REM sleep. You feel like you've gone to bed, but when you wake up, you don't feel rested. And I felt like that for so many years. That's something that for me was just it made me go a little bit crazy because if you're not getting the appropriate sleep every single night, your brain stops functioning correctly. You can't handle your mood management as well. You get stressed out more easily. A lot of habits like irritability uh, will start to develop. And then what you have to do to relieve those symptoms is smoke even more. So it becomes this vicious cycle that you get trapped in because you're feeling crappy, but then when you smoke, you're able to alleviate the symptoms. But because you're smoking, you're causing those symptoms to incur and grow further. And then the cycle just repeats for years and years on end where you feel sick, but then you feel better when you smoke. And it's the smoking that's causing you to feel sick. And I was trapped in this cycle for so many years. 
So if you're somebody who's smoking right now and you have dark bags under your eyes and you're not having any dreams, you are literally creating toxins in your brain which are poisoning you. And I did this for eight years. And I had many times where I was laying in bed and then suddenly my entire body would convulse in a shock like electricity that would start from my head and just every single muscle in my body would convulse, jolt at just one moment. And then it's like electricity, boom, and all your body jumps. Not just like you're laying in bed and your arm jumps, everything jumps at once. I had this happen probably four to five times throughout the eight years that I was smoking. And it was very scary. For me, I would lay in bed, half awake, half asleep, about to fall asleep, and then boom, completely wide awake, looking around like, my God, what just happened? And this is some of the side effects that I suffered because I just never got good sleep. Now, the first 30 days, it's really intense dreams. The first week, it is really intense dreams. I'm still on day 34 now, and I'm having really intense dreams, which is why I'm making this video, so that I can tell you guys, yes, it sucks, it's not fun, but you gotta push through, and yes, you are improving. You are literally healing yourself. So every time I have a nightmare and I wake up stressed out and I'm sitting there scared or I, I had this horrible dream the other day where I did something to someone and the police were looking for me and I was running looking for cover. It was like playing a Grand Theft Auto game where the police were chasing for you in real life and that was terrifying. And then I woke up and I felt calm and I'm like, okay, well at least I'm having dreams so I know that I'm getting REM sleep so I know that I'm literally improving my mind and that's helping me even though it's coming at a cost, I just hope that the level of these intensity of dreams starts to reduce because I don't like this, man. I don't like having to have those dreams, but I am happy that I'm getting the appropriate REM sleep. One of the things that I recommend to you if you're trying to quit smoking, it's called mindfulness. It's being aware of your surroundings in the moment. So one thing that you can take into accord while trying to quit, when you smoke, instead of just going through the habit, I want you to analyze what's actually taking place. Look around, and I did this when I was quitting, and I realized, you know what? I am very much poisoning myself because I would sit there and I would break up the bud. I would look at myself with the mindfulness and think I'm wasting my time right now. Then I would smoke and my entire room would be filled with smoke and smell like crap. And I would notice that as well. And I started to pay attention to all these different things. The way that I was coughing, how I was hurting my body, the way that I wasn't sleeping. And by being mindful of what's actually taking place, you start to become more aware of the moment and you realize that it's not good for you. Because the problem is we get so trapped into just living life on autopilot. And the moment that we're able to snap out of the day to day and we're able to look at things in the big picture and be mindful of our lives, that's when we can really start to analyze, are we making the correct decisions or the wrong decisions? So what I recommend for mindfulness is just be aware of everything that's taking place when you're about to smoke. And for me, not being able to sleep and not having dreams and waking up exhausted, that really fell into my mindfulness because those last weeks before I moved away and I was attempting to reduce my smoking so that when I did move it wasn't so difficult as I would go cold turkey, that's when I started to become a lot more mindful of every morning when I'd wake up and I would think, you know what, I don't feel good right now. And I don't feel good because I don't feel like I've slept. And then I would go and smoke and I would cough and I would look at all the little tiny details. Look at the mess that I've made here. Look at all these little stems everywhere. Look at how my table that I sit in front of and work at is just covered with tar. Little pieces of bomb resin that fall in different places from putting the bowl down onto the table. And I would sit there and have to scrub with rubbing alcohol. And when you're on autopilot and you're just living day to day, you don't pay attention to those things. But when you become mindful, you start to think, man, this is gross. Why am I doing this to myself? So I want you to be a lot more mindful if you're still smoking. And even if you're quitting, look at things in the bigger picture and make decisions that you would be proud of. Looking at your life, not from day to day, but rather if I was gonna die tomorrow and I look at everything that I'm doing today, would I be happy and proud of what I'm accomplishing? Or would I look at this and say, you know what? I'm not happy of who I am. And that's why I quit smoking because I was, I hated myself. I did not like any of the decisions that I was making. I had such high standards for myself personally as a kid thinking when I grow up, this is who I wanna be. And then I started to realize as an adult, man, what am I doing? How am I throwing away my life? 
How am I not reaching my full potential? Oh wait, it's because I'm smoking. And you know what, if you're not smoking and you're starting to get dreams but they're bothering you, congratulations, you're getting REM sleep. And by getting REM sleep, you're improving your life by so much. Your mood becomes more stable. You're able to become more positive. It's literally your brain working now at 110% and you're able to read other people's emotions and connect on a deeper level than if you're not smoking because when you smoke, your emotions are totally out of line. So guys, I know I went kind of on a rant here. The start of the video was more of, of intense dreams and what I've been suffering from and how I view it as a good aspect versus just something that's more of an annoyance because it is an annoyance to have dreams. Personally, I didn't dream for eight years and I liked it that way because there's a lot of emotions when you dream depending on the scenario that happens. But at the same time, it is your subconscious speaking to you. And it is basically a lot of your primal fears, they're coming up. And for me personally, it's, it's a way to look at myself on a deeper level. Because I notice sometimes in my dreams, people don't accept me and people aren't nice to me. And that's my subconscious fear of people not liking me. And that's something that I've had as a kid. And as you get older, that goes away. But in my dreams, I'm really able to tell that is still deep rooted and existent within myself. So that's why I also uh, advise for you to do meditation. I'm going to make another video uh, coming tomorrow and it's going to be strictly about meditation and mindfulness. So if you guys are interested in that, stick around. I know this video was more off of a tangent and I was just kind of spewing thoughts off the top of my head. But I wanted you guys just to kind of get an inner look of how I'm processing going through quitting and dealing with these dreams and how I'm viewing it all together as a whole and not just by day to day. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video. Hopefully you found some value from it. If you have, I would simply ask just smash that like button. It really helps the channel to keep growing. And if you like the message that we share here, I know it goes against the grain because most people are first smoking. Well, we're against the grain and we're against smoking, at least those that can't moderate. And if you feel that this channel speaks that message to you and you like what we have to say, then join our group. We have a community of those who like to re comment regularly and I really appreciate you guys commenting and being part of this journey because we're on this journey together. Thank you so much guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.